I'm back for arms. Now, arms should be louder than Mario and Rabbids because Mario and Rabbids is quiet as fuck. So, let me, uh... Hopefully this won't break your little earsies. I'll turn it back down to where it usually is at. But welcome. We're just gonna do like an hour of arms. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of arms. Um... I'm just looking at the volume levels because I'm confused now. Now it looks like this is too quiet. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the switch is louder than I, or quieter than I thought it was. Let's just put it here. Let's just put it here. This looks like a good volume. Let me know if it's too quiet. Anyway, just gonna do like an hour of arms. I haven't streamed arms in like 10 days, so... I'm rank 17. Rank 17 is hell. Because when you lose, you go way down. And when you win, you only go up a little bit. Because you rarely get matched with anyone who's like... You know, equivalent to your skill, your skill level. I'm too good at this game now, so, you know, you understand. There's not a whole lot of people out there who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with me. Too dang good at this game now. Um, but, let's just get back to it. Let's just do a little arms. I'm just gonna do ranked tonight. Nothing too crazy, nothing too out of this world. Let's give it a whirl. Give it a little whirl. So, uh, we just played a bunch of Mario and Rabbids. I'm dropping frames, so that's good. I like that. I like when I drop frames. Uh, we were just playing a bunch of Mario and Rabbids. We played it for like three hours, and it was really fucking good still. Really, really good still. SMH. Uh-oh. He's shaking his head at me already. Give the first person you fight the good old Reddit combo, Mike. No, Game Boo. I'm not going to give him the Reddit combo. I was fighting Game Boo the other day, and he used double guardians, and he called that the Reddit combo for some reason. What was that? The highest rank in arms is 20 at the moment. This dude's dancing. Look at him. You want to dance? All right. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Damn, Mechanica, okay. This is a good Mechanica, holy shit. Not today. Not today. I can't read chat very much during this. I also shouldn't even talk at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. She's really good. She's doing a lot of damage. She hasn't hit me a whole lot, but her hits do fucking loads of damage. Really? Jesus, I'm getting my ass kicked. Alright. Not a whole lot, but it'll do. It'll do. Why didn't that... It That went... Okay, alright, okay. Alright, okay. Okay! That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Mechanica has started to show up a lot more in, like, the higher ranks. It's weird. It's weird. Like, you never ran into Mechanica at lower ranks, but now she's, like, everywhere. I see her a lot. Fuck. These arms are good. A lot of Max Brass's arms are fucking incredibly good. I'm losing big time tonight. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Alright, that's good. That's good. Yeah, Max's arms are fucking great. When is Lola coming out? I think mid-September? That's what I heard. Fuck. Fuck. He's, he's really tricking me. I'm, I'm like, doing too much guarding. Alright, I don't... Like, he grabbed me again. <laughs> Alright. This is going great. Good, good. Remember last time I streamed this, how I won like 20 games in the in a row at the beginning? That ain't gonna be the case this time, friends. Ooh. SMH indeed, dude. SMH indeed. He's gonna fucking... 
I don't even know what just happened. I don't even know what just happened. I use a controller. Motion controls just don't work for me. Is she a higher rank than me or not? Oh, man. I'm going to go down a rank. I'm going to go down a rank. Yeah, it was like mid-September from what I heard. All right. Fuck. I'm just going to stay with what I got. I'm going to try to use the, the cracker, though. Yeah, even when people are higher ranked than you, like at this at this level, you like you lose a lot for each loss. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done double cracker. I don't know. Fuck. I feel like I'm not as good as I was last time I streamed it. Just because I don't think I've practiced as much. After I went on vacation, well I didn't play it all on vacation. And then when I got back I haven't played as much as I did before. But I don't know. You gotta you gotta keep it up. If you wanna stay good, if you wanna stay relevant in the world of arms. Fuck, she's good. I'm like trying to mix up my get ups, my get up strategies, and she's reading them all. She's giving me all the reads. She's a goddamn librarian. Oh. Oh. What do you got? Yes, 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 yes. No, what? Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have activated that. I wasn't. I wasn't in like a good position. No. Nice. Good. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Got her. Whew. Okay, good. That's one win. See ya. Alright, I'm gonna use... I mean, those worked. But I feel like these... This is a good combo. Hmm. I appreciate the, the kind words and the advice. But, yeah. They, they, the fucking... The people you run into at these higher ranks are ridiculously good. Fuck. I've definitely I'm definitely better than I was, but you know, it's it's still you you're fighting hard fucking opponents up here. Up in here. The one thing I still can't get over is Springman. At these high ranks, Springman is like the reflect ability Springman has almost feels too good. I mean I've played a lot of this game. I've probably played like a hundred hours of it now. And I feel like I've got a somewhat good grasp on things that don't necessarily feel like... I don't know. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't necessarily feel like that was the intended way to play the game. I feel like ARMS is, like, supposed to be more of a long-ranged, more... I don't know, thoughtful fighting game? I guess... I, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. But when Springman fucking gets close to you... He just gets up close to you and just keeps doing his, his dash reflect ability. It almost feels like it's too good. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, fuck. Shit. Yeah, the, the fucking... It's just really, really, really good. It's very hard to counter. Even if you use heavy arms, even if you have like... It's just really, really tough. It's really tough. You're a fool, Mechanica. You fell right into my trap. It's like, I don't even have a problem with other player- Like, characters play aggressively. It's Springman and Max Brass. Because of their fucking- Every time they dash like this, they can reflect arms. And it's- it When they're up close and they just do it over and over and over, you really you can't touch them. I gotta figure out a way to get around it. Because there must be some way to get around it. Because the top players in the world aren't Springmans or Max Brasses, so there has to be, like, a way to get around that, but it's... it's tough. Max Brass has all of Springman's abilities, yeah. Except, you know, he's just bigger. And he has super armor. Yeah, it's just, like, the whole point of this game is the long, stretchy arms, so I feel like playing super close isn't... I don't know, that just doesn't feel like it's the intended way? I don't know. 
Maybe it is. Maybe it's a, it's an intended strategy, but I don't like it. I can't get into it. And I can't counter it. I gotta figure out how to counter it. There are actually a few Max Brasses in the top 10. Are there any Spring Men? Because Spring Men's who I mostly have problems with. Oh, hey, I won. At least I won that game. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's keep going, Mechanica. I'm liking you. Let's keep playing. The only play way I can deal with hyper-aggressive players is by making as much distance as possible. Dr. Ricky, thanks for the sub, dude. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, it's like, I feel like if you use, like, freezy arms to keep them at bay, that helps. But even then, it's hard. It's hard. Because if they get close to you, like, once, it's over. There's this one dude. <laughs> There's this one spring man. I, th I forget what his name is. He's insufferable to play against. He's so fucking good. And he, he does exactly what I've been talking about. Like, he gets real close. He reflects everything. So, I was, like, at, at my wit's end. I played him, like, maybe 20 games in a row. And I think I lost every single one of them. Uh, it was real bad for my rank. It was real bad in general. So I like, I, I went, God rest my soul, I went to the fucking ARM subreddit because, you know, if there's a small dedicated community to a small game like this, I'm fine with going there to like look up tips and stuff. So lo and behold, there was a, there was a thread there already where someone was like, how do I deal with close range spring man? So I was like, all right, cool. So I went there and I was like, I was about to make a thread about the same thing. I need some help with this. I have no fucking idea how to do this. And then who fucking replies to the thread but the dude who's been kicking my ass for the last like 45 minutes. He's like, hey, think we've been playing some games together, winky face. You're pretty good. I'm like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. That's how small this community is. That's how small ARMS is. But it's like, I was like, come on, man. He was, he's really goddamn good. Easily the best player I've ever played against. He was infuriating. I could not touch him. I asked him for advice and his advice was that I need to mix up my, my strat. When I get up, I need to not do the same thing as, as much as I do. I need to like shield sometimes jump sometimes, roll sometimes, I need to mix it up, but he's, he's, I, nothing was working against him. He was rank 20 too. Yeah, at least he complimented me. But I was like, God damn it. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Yep, all right, I just did the same. I, I feel like guarding on, on stand-up is, is one of the fucking worst things. Yep. Oh, no. Come on. Damn. There's only one spring man in the Japanese top 10, and there's none in the American top 10. Huh. You do always roll when you get up. Yeah, it's it's a problem I have. I think I, I like, don't, I don't think about it enough. I think the biggest fucking hurdle, another big hurdle you need to come over or get over when you play a game like this is you can't turn on autopilot. If you get into the groove of the game and like you start just mindlessly playing it, that's not good. You can see a list of the top players online, can't you? Isn't there like an official... Fuck! Damn it. This dude's good. I actually really like playing against this guy. I play against a lot of Mechanicas, but I don't usually play against a lot of really good ones. This one's this one's good. It's really hard to not mindlessly get into a groove. Well, it's not ever it's not as simple as not autopiloting, but like getting into the habit of autopiloting is really bad, I think. Personally, me personally. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. It's about making your autopilot smarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll, uh... No, I'm gonna keep... I, I like the arms I have. I doubt myself. I'm like, no, I'll switch arms. No, 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 no,
Hmm. Maybe I'll use this. I don't. Let's use this combo. Bark, you really haven't been pulling your weight this time. Like, you haven't, like, gotten any good kills or anything. It's been, like, four games now. What are you doing? I do use Bark as a shield a lot now. Maybe he's just mad at me. I've started getting into the habit of doing that. I played against a really good Helix the other day, Grilled Ice Cream. Helix, Helix can be really intimidating. I honestly don't. The only character I really never, ever play against is Master Mummy, which sucks. I like Master Mummy. Memes aside. I like mummies. I like heavy characters. But I never play against him. Ever. Bark is a big bitch, dumbass dog. Fuck you. Cut. Fuck you, dude. I gotta stop looking at chat. If you're gonna be insulting my dog. Oh! That was a good hit. Oh no, my arms are breaking. My arms are breaking! Oh, fuck! Damn. Damn. Dragon and Crackers is a good combo. Maybe I'll try that. I just really like using, like, the Seeky against characters with heavy armor. Or super armor, because they can't do a whole lot about it when they get hit. I think this is my most used arm combo. If you look at my, uh... I can look at my stat screen when I get a chance to go back to the main menu. I think it's mostly this, these two. Nice. What do you got? What do you got, Mechanica? What do you got? Oh, I guess that's what you got. I don't really want to try Kid Cobra. I really like Bark and Bite. I want to get good at them. Not today. Not today! Fucking feels good. How much longer are we going? It's going to be a shorter arm stream tonight, because I did three hours of Mario and Rabbids. Did you guys notice that when you get a kill with a throw with Bark and Bite, Bark goes over and poses for the camera? He puts his face right in the camera. Thank you. Mm -mm. Let's keep this combo. I don't care what tier Bark and Bite are. I don't care... I don't care if they have any friends. I don't care who invites them to their barbecues. Bark is my best friend. Ooh. I'm on a Discord with only Bite and Bark mains. It's so small. <laughs> That's very sad. Alright, SMH. I got you now. I got you. I know what I'm going to do. Come for me. Come for me. Let it be known. Come on. You're done. You're done! Get up. Fool. Oh, never mind. I'm the fool. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! Yes! Arrested. Arrested! Ooh, that was close. I really like this dude. Oh, he dropped out. Yeah, I can see my uh, stats. Yeah, it's mostly these. Mostly these. These are my main arms. What's my uh, win percentage? Oh, I guess you can't see. Rack Mark. So he's only rank 13. If he beats me, I'm going to lose a lot of uh, a lot of shit. I'm going to lose a lot of shit. Your own arms as explosions can damage you. Oh, no. Not goth ribbon girl. Please, God. Bite and... Ooh. 
How do you get a goth GF? Ask Bark, I think he has one. Also, this ribbon girl is lagging. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but she's kind of lagging all over the place. I don't really like like her. I'm going to drop out after this match. Ugh. Yeah, she's she's lagging. 1-800, are you lagging? Yes, I can't even... Like, I'm winning, but I, I don't like playing with... I don't get better if I'm playing against a fucking opponent that just is jerking all over the place. Come on, Ribbon Girl. Come on. Bark. Come on. Get the kill. Get the kill. Get the kill, Bark. Why hasn't... Why haven't I killed her yet? What the fuck is happening? Get her. Just gotta hit her one more time. One time. One time. There we go. Whew. Yeah, she's she's zipping all over the place. Ugh. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, guess that's what you got. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, nice one, dude. Saw dude, saw dude, saw dude. Nice, nice, saw dude. Oh, saw dude. Yo, she's slick. She's slick. Alright, why don't we... Ah. Uh... Yo, saw dude. Saw dude. Bark, come on. <laughs> this is not going well. The dragon doesn't have infinite range. It looks like it does from the perspective of the firer of the dragon, but it really it doesn't go any farther than a regular arm. The beam just like disappears. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna just run the clock. I can't get her. We almost got her. All right, all right, okay, I see your game. I see your game. How about we not use the dragon because she's too fucking fast to hit with the dragon. Let's just use double double crackers. We can still do this. I don't like playing against this character though, this person, this human, because he's too laggy. He's using a dang lag switch. Well, I should, that should have hit her. That looked like it hit her. I don't know. Maybe that didn't, but it looked like it did. Ugh. Damn. Fucking double slap amanders is something I don't fight against very often. This is tough. Also, that looked like it hit. Those both look like they hit. Well, this is working. This is working. This is working. Fuck. Fuck, she's gonna beat me. I could... No, alright. Never mind. Sometimes I burn my super just to kill Bark. That's sacrilege. Yeah, you win. You win. You might want to get better internet connection, but you win. Yeah, I'm not playing against them again. Oh, no. Oh, no. A level 20 CT. Oh, my God. If this is a spring man, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fucking have a hyper heart attack.
Oh no, this is even worse. Oh no, it's the same thing again. Oh, oh no. Oh, a rank twenty goth ribbon girl. Oh fuck, this is this is real hell. At least they're not lagging at all. This seems pretty stable. But think of the honor if I were to beat a rank 20 goth ribbon girl. Think of the fucking honor that I would bring Bark. Ooh. I know you got your you got your rush. I know. I know. What do you got? What do you got? Nope. Uh oh. Ooh, you tricked me. They they tricked me good. Ooh! Not today. What? It's really hard to reach rank 20 and then to maintain rank 20 in this game. So, people who are rank 20 are not fucking around. No! Are you... <laughs> no! God damn. That was so tough. Oh, fuck. That was so close. Ah. Uh... They don't fuck around. I'm impressed with how well I'm doing against her, though. That was a clutch victory, and now I'm, my, my morale is destroyed. Oh, you, you read that like a dang book. Like a dang magazine. I'm dead. I'm fucked. Oh! I'm gonna try to like pepper her with stuff. Maybe build up my my rush. Oh no, my arms! Ah! Fuck! Wait, you have to play single player before it makes you play- lets you play ranked? That's bullshit. It's just level 4. It's not that hard. If you- if you know, if you think you're tough enough. Alright, I'm gonna stay playing against you if you want. I like you. No, why? Our art stream's dead. No, this is just the first Thursday that I haven't done- I do every other Thursday. Every other Thursday, and I wasn't here last Thursday, so that didn't count. Uh, so my win rate is, uh, 57. It's a little better than it was last time, I think. You could- they were scared of me, that's why. Oh shit! At least three dolphins is back! At least three dolphins has returned! Double ice dragon ditto me, Mike. No, dude, I'm going for rank 18. I gotta get there! I gotta get to 18. Oh, fuck. Now, you may notice that Kid Cobra has the girthiest arms. He has arms that are just as girthy as Master Mummy's girthy arms. Why does Kid Cobra have such massive arms? Like, what the fuck? Like... Kid Cobra's already really good. I wonder why they decided to give him such the, the like biggest arm size. He's well endowed. I guess so. He's a twunk. A what? At least three dolphins is good. I've played him a few times on stream. Oh, fuck. Well, I just got beamed. I only did 200. Damn. Ugh. Ah. Hey, 
All right, that wasn't working for me. The double biffs, the double bibs, whatever the fuck they are. The boffs, the bobs, those are good. He Seeky is garbage, stop using it. No, mate, Seeky's good. I like the Seeky. I didn't at first, then I grew to love it. Seeky has won me many a game. Yeah, not today. Oh! There's seeky discourse in the chat. Uh oh. Oh fuck, dude, you're getting real close to me. Getting real close to me. Is arms just not popular at the moment, or is it a huge sleeper hit? Ah, uh, it's tough to say. I really arms is in a weird place. It had zero viewers on Twitch when I started streaming it. Um, but then they go ahead and release the Lola Pop character trailer, and it gets like 600,000 views, 700,000 views, which is more than Splatoon got for its update video. And it's like, I don't know. I can never tell. I can never tell. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Competitively, ARMS doesn't have a leg to stand on. Uh, I, uh. I think it's the lack of content that people kind of got upset about. But at the same time, I almost feel like what were they expecting? Like, we live in a day and age where you can learn everything about a game before it comes out. We, like, we, there was that ARMS Direct, they showed the 10 characters that were in the game, they showed the 10 stages, they showed all of the ARMS, and they said, this is it. You know, and it's like, I don't know. I saw, I've seen a lot of people, particularly on Twitter, being like, this was the worst fucking purchase I've ever made in my life. Shittiest game, there was nothing to do in it. It's like, what, what do you, what were you expecting? It's a fighting game. It's like, you got your Grand Prix mode, you got online multiplayer, I don't know. Got him. See ya! I think that, like, the main amount of content you get out of a fighting game is just how long you play it. You know? There's like 11 characters in this game, but I have like 100 hours in it. Arms launched with more than Street Fighter V and has free content. Well, that's the sort of thing, you know? I just feel like people kind of bought it expecting a Splatoon type thing with like a story mode and more to do than fight, <laughs> but it's a fighting game. I'm going green this time. Going Grink. Ooh. Oh. oh, I jumped into it. I gotta stop doing that. Honestly, at this point, though, like, just talking about the Switch in general, especially after Mario and Rabbids, the fucking Switch has some good games. The Switch is pretty damn solid right now. And it's officially September now here, so next month Mario Odyssey comes out. Like, I don't know. This has been a pretty damn solid first year for a console, if I've ever seen one. Oh no. And if you haven't played Pokken, Pokken's a really solid fighting game in my opinion, but... My opinion's not worth much because I don't play a whole lot of fighting games, but that's coming out this month.
All right, cool. Yeah, I think the Switch is more than worth getting at this point. And, you know, if they keep up the content... I mean, we know that there's a mainline Pokemon RPG on the way. We know Metroid Prime 4 is coming. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about at all during Mario and Rabbids, which I realized is the, the indie... They did like a mini indie direct a few days ago. Did anyone watch that and was anyone interested in it? Or any of the games that were in it? Because in terms of new stuff, nothing did anything for me except that one game that was called like the, the Murphy's Law or Morphe's Law. That thing was kind of interesting. I thought that was kind of neat. Oh, and of course King Knight's campaign, but that was like, you know, we knew that was coming. Oh, and No More Heroes, but I we knew that was coming too, and I'd never played the original. Which is, it's been on my to play list for a long time. What, Mike? You never played No More Heroes? What? Nope, never played it. But, I want to. The only thing that really struck me about the No More Heroes trailer, aside from the fact that he was playing Hotline Miami in it, was that the audio mixing was really bad. I couldn't tell what anyone was saying. But yeah, the uh, Mor Morphe's Law looks interesting. They got Amiibo for Spectre King and Plague Knight. No way! Chunk, I appreciate that, but I really, I'm, like, I'll, I'm not planning on streaming it anytime soon, but, you know, I'll let you guys know when I'm about to stream it. They were, what, wasn't there two games? I thought there were two. Maybe it was just one. Did you say there were two or not? I forgot. I didn't read it. I didn't, I didn't read it. Oh, it's two. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. They were both on Wii, weren't they? Do we know if this new one's going to be like the, the first two? It almost... I don't know. I'm getting like a weird vibe from it that it's going to be like more indie... Well, it is indie focused, I guess. But weren't the, uh, weren't the originals like third person kind of hack and slash type things? Is this one going to be the same type of game? Same gameplay style. Okay, cool. Do you plan on doing a Mario Kart tournament anytime soon? Uh, maybe next week? It's not a minigame collection. That's what I was kind of afraid of, but it's good. It's good. It's gonna be the same, but with video game levels. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but there was, like, nothing else in that, in that Direct really did anything for me. There was that one game that I wasn't even sure what I was looking at. It was, like, a dancing game. Where you just, like, there were, like, flash, flash animated characters dancing. I was like, what the fuck is this? Morphe's Law was a cool idea. I don't know how good it'll be, but I, I'm interested. That's coming out for PC too, though, so I think I'd rather get it on PC. Golf Story is very interesting, yeah. It's interesting. I don't think I'd be into it because I'm not super into golf games to begin with. But it's it's a definitely a cool cool idea for a game. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Your ice shots are good. Thank you. Ah! Fuck. Fuck! Dolphin. Nice. Woo! I don't know. It's, uh, there, there really wasn't a whole lot else that, that interested me during that. It is cool that Nintendo's doing all this stuff with, with indie developers, though, really. How, what is you guys' opinion on Super Meat Boy Forever? 
I kind of, what, what do you feel about it being like an, an endless runner type thing? Or not endless, but it's like a, you know, you have to keep running. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like it. Ugh. It could still be good, but I don't know. I, I liked, the original Super Meat Boy is really fucking good, and I don't think it needed to change into like a non-stop runner. Super Meat Boy should be done at this point. Well, it only had one game, didn't it? I'd be fine with a sequel. I started maining these characters. Any tips? Uh, don't forget that Bark's there. <laughs> That's like my main tip. Don't, like, you have to remember that you have him and can use him. You gotta jump off him, use him as a shield, charge up your punches and use his punches. Because other, like, without Bark, Bite is nothing. He has nothing. He has no special abilities. Also, remember that you can reflect punches when you jump off of Bark, because that's super useful. Super Meat Boy is the sequel. Forever is the third game. Wasn't Super Meat Boy just like a remake of the Flash version or something? I might be forgetting. I thought it was a remake, but maybe I'm wrong. Either way, uh, I wouldn't have minded us another Meat Boy game. What happened to... What happened to fucking... Mugenics? Wasn't there a, a cat breeding game? It's on hold? I feel like it's been on hold since I was in high school. He still says it's gonna happen. All right. Because I was interested in that. I don't know if you guys could tell from my pets stream, my pets five stream, but I kind of like crossbreeding animals. Like some sort of freakish mad scientist. So I'd, I'd be all over that game. The Legend of Bumbo kind of looks, it looks all right. I'm not really super into it. It looks like a puzzly matchy game. Ah, dolphin. I am a f and I am a fool. Oh, 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 oh! Damn! Ah! Uh. I wonder if we'll see a Minecraft world in No More Heroes 3. Do we know which which developers are on board? Because an indie focused, like in a game where you go to different indie game worlds is, is kind of interesting. I, I like that. I'd be fine with that. I mean, I, it's happening, so I am fine with it, but that's a cool idea. Fuck. I keep doing the same thing. Those Hydra arms are so frustrating. Ah, fuck. Damn, Dolphin. Damn! Is Minecraft even indie at this point? That's a good point. Minecraft has changed. Minecraft has changed. Hello, Otakon. Minecraft has changed. Yeah, he's he, that that arm combo is deadly. It's deadly. Hello, welcome to surgery. Nurse, please hand me the scalpel so I can begin the incision. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Can love boom on the battlefield, Snake? Hello? Minecraft will be preloaded with Windows now on newer computers, probably. Just like Minesweeper. Wait, did you do you mean probably or that is actually happening? 
because that wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Where's Pizza Baby? We haven't seen Pizza Baby in a while. I've played dozens of hundreds of thousands of hours of this game, and I have not run into Pizza Baby again. I think Pizza Baby might have been a phantom that we all made up in our heads. We imagined Pizza Baby. Ah. I'm definitely not as good as I was last time I streamed this. I gotta practice a little bit more. Going on vacation, like, you know, it threw me off. Threw me off, dude. You gotta remember to keep practicing when you get back from vacation. You can't just go on vacation for, for four days and be like, Oh, I'll be fine when I get back. Nope. You lose skill if you don't use it. Use it or lose it. That's what they say. Minesweeper is the prequel to Minecraft. What does this mean for the lore? Wait, what? Really? Ah! Damn. I'm probably almost done streaming this, honestly. Like I said, I was going to stream it for about an hour. It's been almost an hour. Ooh! Thought I would trick him up there. Trip him up. Didn't work. I feel like I should use those arms more. The ones he's using. They're Bite and Bark's defaults. And, uh... Every time I play against them, they're really good. But I feel like they're better used with characters with huge arms like this. For so Bite and Bark, have, they have baby arms. Come on, come on, John Nintendo. Just, just give, like, give Bite a little bit of a bigger hands. Give him some bigger hands. Come on. Please. Same thing. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. Well, well, that's the end of that. Why does Kid Cobra have yaoi hands? Good question. Uboros. That's, that's why, right there. We know now. We know now. I agree, Bark needs bigger hands. What do you mean by the arm size? Different characters have different arm sizes. The best way to show that is with Min Min. When Min Min charges up an arm on her dragon arm, it gets to be the biggest size possible. Some characters, by default, have like bigger hand sizes. Master Mummy has huge hands. So like using the same arm with different characters will give you different sizes of it. Like, if I use the Megaton with Master Mummy, it'll be way bigger than if I use the Megaton with Bite and Bark. But, Min Min, whatever she charges up on her dragon arm is, like, the biggest size. So, that's, like, you could see. You mean action frame hitbox? What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? But, yeah, so, if I were to use those same arms that that Dolphin Boy is using right now, they would be smaller. And having larger arms, or larger... I, it's so confusing calling them arms, because that's what they are, but they're also just hands. Having larger hands is, is an inconvenience to your opponent, because you get bigger hit or hurt boxes on your hands, and they can block incoming projectiles. So it's like, you know... It's not, it's not a bad deal to have big hands. You know what they say about big hands? Big, big win rate. I'm losing big time right now. I feel like I'm really tired. Played so much Rabbids. I played so much Mario and Rabbids, it exhausted me. It exhausted me physically and mentally and sexually. I guess that goes with physically. Well, like, you know, it, your mind sexually. Like, it, I'm, I'm sexually, mentally exhausted. Bark, please get up. He's dead. Yeah, it's understandable. It's understandable, you know? Guys, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm so sleepy. Fuck, he, like, he does this thing where he gets close to you and jumps... And I don't know how to... I get scared. When Mike talks about sex, bark emote. What is that? I don't even know what that word means. I just say it because I hear the big kids say it. 
when I went to when I was at uh, in Maine, I was like, we can't go to the arcade at night. That's when the big kids go there, and that's what I always thought as a as a little kid. Like, you can't go to the arcade because that's when all the seventh graders go there. And I went there like at at 7 p.m. and I was right. The big kids were there, and it was very scary. It was really scary, guys. The big kids were there, and I, I cannot, I can't. It's too scary. Oh. I told you guys about the when we were there, the one little girl who was playing the whack-a-mole minion game, and she was smashing these minions, just screaming "die" at the top of her lungs over and over and over. And like she was in public and we could all hear her. It was the funniest shit. It was so good. Die, die. Uh-oh. 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 Dude, these you're fucking good with these jumps. I can't Good parenting. Yeah, teaching your kid to, to destroy minions and scream die, it's good parenting. Damn. Bark, you should have you should have saved me, dude. See what I just did with Bark there, that was intentional. I I know I say that was intentional a lot, but that actually was. When you bark when you bark when you block, bark goes directly in front of you. And you can you can take a punch. He can take a punch for you, and then you can like you got an opening. It's fucked up that you use him as a meat shield, but sometimes that's just how it be. You should play Pikmin after this, dude. It is it is one ten in the morning. I can't be doing with this. All right, I'll do like one or two more games. I notice that you jump out of every single block you do. Yeah, that's another problem I have. He's not made of meat. You don't know what's in there. What the fuck? It's a different- it's a rank 20 Kid Cobra. God damn it. Alright, this would be a great finale to the stream. I'm gonna beat a rank 20 Kid Cobra. Let me do this. This is it. I'll do it. Oh, he's using two very good arms, too. I can do this. I just have to pay really close attention. Fuck. Alright. Alright, maybe not. Okay. Alright. Alright, why didn't that hit? Okay. Alright, okay. Oh, 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 you bitch. Oh, you are a big bitch. Should have saved that. I should have saved it for the next round. God damn it. Ugh. This dude's tough. Playing a lot of rank 20 guys tonight. Jesus Christ. Why aren't I playing against baby ranks? Let me play against a baby rank, please. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, nice. Alright. Uh, 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 no! Oh, I could have used my... I fucking had a broken arm. Fuck! Tried to catch him off guard. Didn't work. Doesn't seem to work whenever I try to do that. I just jumped out. I fucking jumped out of my block again. I thought I had a chance. I thought I had a chance. I thought I had a chance. Yeah, shut up, Chuck. 
Only one player who still plays arms is in the baby rank, and sadly you can't play against yourself. God damn it. Let me play him again. Let me play him again, please. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. I need to be done. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, I guess I'm playing against Paco. Okay, Paco, you're my last opponent. Please. Let me at least win. I haven't won a whole lot tonight. I haven't won a whole lot tonight. You're only rank 13, but it's okay. I'm feeling like a rank 10 right now. I feel like I'm playing with the skill of, of a rank 1. God damn it, Paco. He's using the goddamn Min Min and the Slapamanders. I was gonna be- what? Why didn't that hit? I feel like I'm getting some lag tonight. But no, maybe not. Now she doesn't seem like she's lagging. Nope, nope, okay, we're good. Sometimes the, the hit detection or like the animation doesn't look like it matches perfectly what's going on with the with the dragon arms. No, I still gotta get through art, dude. The old lag excuse. I don't think I use a lot of excuses in arms. I played against one ribbon girl earlier who was lagging all over the place, and that I will use the excuse on. But she's good. This Paco's good. Uh, Jesus Christ, Paco. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, whew. You know what I was thinking would be a great feature for ARMS to have? When you land the KO, the final hit, the opponent should ragdoll and should go fucking flying. Or not, depending on how hard you hit them. And with which arm you hit them. I think that would make the game so much better. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. That would be fucking hilarious. Uh oh. Paco, no, please. Uh oh. I feel the tiredness hitting me like a truck right now. It's setting in. Sorry, Paco, but I need to go to bed. Paco, I want to go to bed. All right, gotcha. Like, wouldn't it be funny if I just hit her and she just went... <laughs> Alright, my rank did not change at all. Like, I went up a little, went down a little, didn't didn't move. Alright, that's it. That's it. I said I'd stream ARMS for one hour, and I've streamed it for 58 minutes. Oh, fuck. Hmm. I gotta play for, like, one more minute then. No, I don't. I'm just gonna do... Let's do art. Let's do art. That's the Pikmin background. Okay. Let's do art. Oh, man. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. That was a four-hour stream. Most of which was, was dedicated to Mario and fucking Rabbids. Of all things, I cannot believe still. I can't believe that this is happening. How could this happen to me? Get arms now. I'm, I'm so close to, to 200. I'm just going to wait. Um, Let's put on some... What should we listen to? Listen to Pikmin. I'm probably gonna finish Pikmin tomorrow night, by the way. Maybe. I'm almost done with that game. But Pikmin music is good. We'll do that. Get arts. Get arms, get arts. Okay. But yeah, Pikmin's, Pikmin's coming to a close. Um, let's scroll down. Wait a minute. Set it to mentions. Mentions is better. Mm. All right, okay, here we go. This first thing is by Spin Attack. Oh shit, this is really cute. This is just some nice Pokemon looking stuff. 
look at this. This is really nice. This is this is adorable. <laughs> I love this. This is so great. What is the name of this song? It's the Save Area music from Pikmin 2. This is really, really nice. I love this. Adorable. So cute. So cute. I love the expressions. They're so cute. Thank you. Um, this is by... Oh shit, this is a nice BRB by Space Dragon 112. This is really cute. Look at this. <laughs> That's adorable. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for this. This is really cute. I like it. I love the little animations. Little animated ones are good. Having some motion on a BRB screen is always nice. Thank you. Um, this is by Making Bacon Bot. God damn it. I didn't need to see this. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I hate these. Oh, wow. My phone just scared the fuck out of me. It died, so it, it... When my phone dies, it decides to just scream. That scared the fuck out of me. Anyway, this is great. This is good. Um, this is by Ricerine, I think. I still don't know how to say this. This is really good. I fucking love these colors, man. These are so vibrant. I'm Mechanica, and I'm here to have fun. Pronounced... Oh, look at this. Rice Rhine. Rice Rhine. Gotcha. I'll remember that because of Rhine from Xenoblade. <laughs> I'm Max Brass, and I'm here to win. Fuck you. <laughs> this is really nice stuff. This is really, really good. Good shit. I love these colors, dude. These are super vibrant and full of personality. Uh, this is by Irvin. Late Shining Force Art. It's okay. I always appreciate a Domingo. Look at this shit. Adorable. I love him. Domingo was loyal and faithful to the end. Beautiful. I love him. That's great. Um, this is by Miskel. <laughs> Luigi has no right to do this. Luigi dabbed. Luigi is... He's, he's gone to the dark side. God damn it. This is good. This is really cute. I like this. Um, this is by Hi, I'm Brandon. Ace, fuck hell. Mario, please, no, no. He's hanging out with too many rabbits. It's going to get to his head. Mario, the pure boy that we all know and love, is going down a dark path. Uh, this is by Oranges. This is really cute. This is a little Sun Bunny character. Very cute. Very nice. Look, I'm making it dance. That's really cute. I love it. Uh, this is... Oh, no. I'm surprised this is the... Like, look at this. I was I was expecting a lot of these. This is by Mapu. I feel like I just gagged in my mouth. Like, for real. I made a, I made a gag noise, but then I feel like I really gagged. God damn it. God damn it. This is by uh, Bulgaborg. Again, these are, you know, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're going to start seeing these. Ugh. What a turn of events. What a turn of events. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, this is by King Roy. Oh, this stuff's good. This stuff's good. Are those, are those staples and ropes? Oh, my God. And then, of course, you know, you can't have a King Roy art without this. Good stuff. Good stuff, dude. Honestly, you're really, really talented, man. As usual. As usual. Good shit. The fucking rabid with his helmet. His helmet. I thought this was arms. I just got here. Oh, we're, we do art at the end of every stream from the stream. It just ended. Um, yeah, we, were just, we just did like an hour of arms. But at the end of every stream I do... People submit art on Twitter and I show it, so that's what we're doing right now. But thank you. Sorry I'm done with arms, but I'll do arms again soon. Um, this is by Rod Rodane, I think, again. This is cute. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Mario, please. Hell, ace! And then, uh, this. Hell beast. Fucking hell beast. Rodine, you fool. Sorry, Rodine. Sorry. This is great. Really cute. <laughs> really, really cute. Thank you. 
Thank you, Rodin. Uh, this is by... Uh, da, 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 da. That's it. That's it, actually. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Mario and Rabbids. Like, way more than I thought I would. And ARMS was fun, but I wasn't very good at it tonight, but whatever. Uh, so... Coming up this week, we've got more Mario and Rabbids. Uh, we've got Pikmin 2. We've got uh, something to replace Pikmin 2. We've got more... Uh, what else am I playing? What else am I playing, guys? I'm, I'm really fucking tired. Uh, basically, all the normal stuff. Um, we have... Probably, maybe a Mario Kart tournament? I don't know. I have some more PS1 games that I'm... Like, some secret PS1 games that I've been stockpiling. Uh... I have uh, maybe another Blue's Clues game, maybe, but not too soon. But I got one of those in, in my backlogs. Uh, if you want to catch up on streams that you might have missed, they're all on YouTube at youtube.com slash C slash Gaming. I upload streams. They're usually a day late, but they're they're all there, so you can check them out. There's like 700 of them almost. Um, and what else? What else? Uh, if you want to catch streams live or know when I go live, you can always follow me on Twitter at Mike Panutes or Tumblr at Panutes because I always post right before I start the stream. And that's about it. That's about it. Thank you very, very much for watching. It was a blast. I had a really, really good time. Um, so thank you very much for all the hosts and the subs and just for being here. It means a lot. You guys are the best. Uh, I will see you tomorrow night, hopefully. And uh, get some sleep. Get a good night of sleep because I like you and I hope you stay healthy and good. It's important to eat a lot and drink a lot and get a good night of sleep. Good night. I love you. Bye.